Hey guys, this is Bonifer with another video. Today we're going to discuss one very, very disturbing um, situation. Uh, it's freaking Meta and Tear Decks. I am done with them. Yu-Gi-Oh! has officially become the crappiest game ever. Reason why? Because of all the stupid crap heads who freaking decide, oh, I'm gonna play a meta deck or high stuff because I know they win, and I'm because I wanna win. I wanna win money. Yu-Gi-Oh! is supposed to be fun. Not it's all about winning. It's supposed to be for the people who want to have a challenge. The high meta in tier decks, there's no challenge to it. If you make, if you get the cards you need, you basically win. Because it's not like you can go out there and just build a deck that's going to defeat, you know, E-Dragons, Prophecies, um... Dark Worlds. You can't just make a deck that does that. You can. What you can do, though, is you can wait until another high meta deck comes out. That's what you'll be able to do. But I'm not doing that because I make my own fucking decks. I am done with this shit. Build your own fucking decks or quit Yu-Gi-Oh! Those are your two options. Because, see, even when, you know, freaking people, you know, do all this crap and make their own decks, sometimes they're like, oh, they don't win because they're crappy decks. Because they're, I don't, because even if I make them, they're still going to be crappy. Do you want to know why they, they're crappy? Because you have no skill in making decks. Because you've been so worried about high meta and high tier. That's all you've been fucking worrying about. The card, the only deck that I actually play that's not of my creation is the Exodia deck profile that I gave out. Which, uh, the guy who's spoken to me, he actually uh, cited Neo Grand Mole, Neo, Neo Grand Spatian Mole, whatever, Neo Spatian Grand Mole, whatever, uh, for uh, Feather of the Phoenix. So, you know, I'm going to say this right now. In my opinion, Neo Spatian Grand Mole is a little better than that. reason why is because when I was placing a 6 Samurai deck first time with this deck, Neo Spatian Grand Mole won me the tool, duel because he kept getting out uh, Sheehan every single time. Like, every single turn. I Like, there was only three turns. He kept getting Sheehan out every single turn. And I was able to uh, get my Neo Space Sheehan out first turn and keep his uh, Sheehan into his extra deck so he doesn't do a whole big combo. So that's my opinion. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But, the whole reason why this video is up is because I am done with them. They're a piece of shit to be doing against. If I am in any, any tournaments and I see that they're playing a Dark World meta deck or Dark World tier deck or even an E-Dragon deck that I know I'm not going to be able to defeat, I'm just going to pack my stuff and say, fuck you, go shit yourself and leave. Because there's no game in it. It's just like an FTK, an OTK, freaking... You don't know how many times... Where I have been trying and trying. Sorry, the pictures are kind of long and short because I'm doing this manually. But time and time again, when I'm playing against a person with a good deck, but it's a tier deck. I'm like, dude, this is a great deck. i like, yeah, I know. I downloaded it. Really? If you download a deck... And someone says, you have no skill, that means you have no skill because you are not making your own stuff, figuring puzzles out for yourself. I mean, seriously, 
I do Rubik's Cubes for a living and Yu-Gi-Oh. In Rubik's Cubes, there are no cheating. There are no, oh, I'm just going to play with this cube because it's faster. No, you have to know finger tricks. You have to know how to turn algorithms and other forms of it, if you're remembering what cube you have. Such as a gear cube, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, uh, Pyraminx, Professor Minx, UFO cubes, freaking ball cubes. There's a lot of cubes out there. There's cuboids like 3x4x5s, 3x7x8s, or 3x7x9s, or whatever. There are a lot of cubes out there. You have to be able to figure those out. And if you're not going to figure them out, and let's say in Yu-Gi-Oh, because it's basically the same thing. I'm going to compose the set as this. Yu-Gi-Oh! is just like Rubik's Cubes. Why or how? Because you have to put cards together to solve it. So just, so what I'm trying to say is, so like for the gods, and there's a really big picture of Obelisk, um, you know, in this one, my Orca Tunes, which I'm going to be creating hopefully really soon, um, uh, you know, it's a whole process. If you've watched the others, um, if you watched my tune video, which hopefully you probably have, um, basically what happens is you have to discard, like for this one, this is tune obelisk. You have to discard obelisk or tormentor from your deck to the graveyard to special summon them out. But there has to be a tune tape, tune world on the field. Then you have to know, oh, okay, well, if it's also a god deck, I can also play with the creator and, you know, use that and summon a creator out. You know, it doesn't, it's not like it's bad. Um, that's my original IMVU. Uh, so, what I'm trying to say is, freaking make your own fucking decks, please. It's better than playing a meta deck that you've obviously, okay, I've seen people do this all the time. Oh, but I've made my own deck. I've made it off based off this. You know, I I made it off based off the meta, but it's not the exact meta. Who fucking cares? If it's a high meta profile, it's still a meta. No matter what it is. If you're basing your deck off of Six Samurais, it's still a Six Samurai deck. If you're basing your deck off of Dark Worlds, it's still a Dark Worlds deck. If you're basing your deck off of uh, uh, E-Dragons, it's still an E-Dragons deck. But it's a combined form. That's all it is. It's not going to change the fact that it's still a high deck that you can definitely win on. So, just please listen to this video and understand that what you guys are doing is crap. Build your own crappy or good decks and test them and recreate them. Don't base them off high metas. Base them off Morphing Jar, Dark Magician, Dandelion, Marshmallow on, Effect Veiler, uh, Dark Magician, or Magician Black Chaos. You can have Exodia. I don't fucking care. Just don't make it off a of high meta. Even the people who were in YCA or YCS, who were playing, who were like the 11, the 11 players who played, you know, I don't know what type of deck. Just switch it up. Build a deck based off of something else. Like the Ori Calcos, as you can see in the background a little bit. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, become a mate today, comment, rate, and I'll see you guys next time. Here comes the paw.